like assuming that there might be some younger guitarists out there who are learning in terms of how's your evolution been in terms of finding that you know some young people might be they 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 feel like they want to dominate a song in terms of how long did it take you to kind of or was it just something that for you it always felt right to just be part of the whole you know I think some young lead guitarists want to have a blistering solo some drummers want to have a big drum part some bass players aren't happy to just sit on a, a root note because they want to be riffing over everything was it did it just come to you or is it something you've kind of evolved over time oh I think it's I think it's because I've been playing with really good musos and I think I've always been lucky enough to play with great musos so I've never I've never really had to think about um what somebody else is doing, you know, I, I you know, it, 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 well, actually that's, that's wrong. I always think about what other people are doing, but it's, I've never had to worry that, um, that the other musos were, were trying to dominate. And if they did, maybe that is actually, you know, that's, that's that whole thing of, you know, take the ego out of the equation. Maybe that is mm. the sound of the band, you know? So, you know, that's, you know, they are the important bit and in, and, Classic case of that is Shane Abbott, is who's an amazing pianist in the Tangerines. You know, that's that's the principal music instrument in the band. Yeah. You know, and it, he can riff away, he can do what he wants. That's cool because that's what defines the band is that the fact that somebody does yes. that. You know, and I've played in bands where I, you know, where you know Richter, one of the this is that's probably my main original band at the moment, that we're, and we're in the process of recording. But there's, you know. A really, we've got a really strong drummer in the band, um, and in Justin George, and and that sets up the song. So I look at I look at Richter as being predominantly about those beats because he's a he's a groove rock drummer who is you know he, his beats are just really intricate and dynamic, but really powerful too. So he sets up. So I look at Richter as being that, mm. and that everything else around that sets up for that. You know, and then there's a principal melody, and again you've got keyboards and saxophone. You've got another guitarist in Tim Pearson, um, who's a really, really good guitar player as well, and he's a good vocalist. Um, but everything's set up around those sort of grooves. So, you know, the melody, the principal melody might come from a sax line, it might come from Tim's guitar part, it might come from my guitar part, it might come from Ben Pearson's from bass playing, you know. But a so- the song's set up around Justin's grooves. Yeah. Um, it might come out of a melody, but then the groove, you know, out of it like a guitar lick, but then the groove kicks in, and ju- it's Justin's interpretation, and he's so dynamic that that's the principle. I see him as being the principal in that band. So, so going back to your point about what happens if you're a young guitarist, um, and you you know you just want to rock away, you know, and, and play outside the song. Well, maybe you are the person that the band is built around. Mm. You know. So, but it, but you've got to have less ego in that yes. in that you, you need to be able to see your place in the band, and if that is your place in the band, if you're the best instrumentalist in the band, and you know you've got you know maybe the songs will be set up around what you do. One caveat on all of that: vocalist reign. So, whatever the vocal, the if you can't hear what a singer is singing, yeah. right, then everything is pointless. You might as well be an instrumental band. Yeah. So so that's over over and above all of the stuff that I've just said, it is still all about supporting the song. And the song is the vocal line yeah. and the lyrics. Yeah. Mm. Right? So whatever yeah, anyone thinks, all you young guitar players out there, it is all about supporting the song and the song is the vocal melody line and the lyrics. Mm-hmm.